It is important today that you know, अगर अच्छा body बनाना है we have to make our body healthy for our kids. We has to start feeding them positive foods. Now, first, we need to know what are the negative foods that can be a problem to our uh, kids. Only when we know it is a bad food, then we can start specifically looking. यार इसको बंद करना है उसको बंद करना है. If we don't do that, this is a problem, right? Now, genetically modified foods are the major problem today. Now. genetic modification was done uh, to increase the productivity of the food and all that but unfortunately we as humans are not designed for it right apna digestive system apni capabilities hain and we have certain abilities and certain things we cannot even manage, manage to do of course certain people are still you know doing that da- damage to themselves right over a period of time they see some disease or the other diseases lekin because this these these children or these kids they are predisposed to a problem so early in their life when they you know they are fed with the genetically modified foods they start uh, throwing these symptoms right so what are the gen- genetically modified food that are largely available today in the society wheat dairy and soya right now every genetically modified food will have a different kind of a protein which our genet- uh, ancestors has not seen before और अपना इम्यून सिस्टम विल रिएक्ट टू इट बिकॉज इट्स अ न्यू टेकन जब नया प्रोटीन आता है इम्यून सिस्टम रिएक्ट करता है इन्फ्लमेशन बढ़ता है एज अ कॉन्सिक्वेंस दिस इन्फ्लमेशन इन द स्टमक इन द बॉडी एंड ऑल्सो इन द ब्रेन एज अ कॉन्सिक्वेंस यू नो आर किड्स थ्रू अप दिस सिम्टम्स देन ऑफकोर्स यू नो एज एज यू नो दिस वन इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग मोस्ट ऑफ अस शुड लर्न एज यू नो uh wheat we always say yaar ye to hum we have been eating wheat for a long time you know it's it has been a staple food us for us and today why i am telling wheat is bad uh you see wheat uh, mo- uh, g- uh, genetical modification was done to increase the production and to have a pest control right now when i say pest control if when a pest would eat this grain the pest would have holes into the digestive system and the pest would die now this wheat can kill the pest if this wheat can kill the pest is def- definitely killing the good microbes into our gut now this is all about having good microbes into our gut to have a healthy body we need to have good microbes when we are eating certain foods which are killing the good microbes it's a big big problem especially for a child who's already susceptible to a problem right now when this happens the diversity of the microbiome is reduced number of bacteria good bacteria are reduced then certain foods which otherwise we might not be allergy we start developing allergies towards them like eggs fish walnuts shellfish peanuts you know otherwise it's not that all of the children or all of us might have allergies but some of might have allergies if we are allergic to these guys we should stop the food we should not eat till the time we have healed and re- regained our diversity back into the gut microbiome 